Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to a close-up review of the Ascension cards. So this is to accelerate your journey to the light from Diana Cooper. I actually worked with them over the weekend so I wanted to give um, a close-up review, show you the cards and what a time to actually get these cards and use them in this time that we're all ascending. Um, the Ascension cards. So she's written a lot of books on the subject. So I'll put the link to the deck, but also you can also go on your own and see she has a, the author of A New Light on Ascension and a couple of other books as well. But this is a really interesting deck to use and you can use it in multiple ways. I mean, you can use it as, um, uh, hello, if I can, okay, yeah, it's a magnet close. <laughs> God. So it's one of those beautiful uh, magnetic closed boxes. What's interesting is when you open it up, this book is actually like a book on itself. It's not really diving into the actual cards. I mean, it does go in depth about the cards, but it's not like look up the meaning of the cards. The, the cards have the meaning right on the, on the card itself. I'll show you in a second. But you could read this cover to cover like I did and really learn a lot. It's really all this channeled information that you got about Ascension, all about the rays of light and the Ascended Masters and the Archangels and you can learn about every Archangel in here. You can learn about the chakras and the rays of light that we work with and the Ascension process and and all of this. And so it was really informative. Um, what was interesting was a lot of spirit messages that I've gotten um, word for word there were some things in here so I really was struck by the timing of this deck for myself and also what's interesting what I really love actually that I wanted to point out is protection she gave all these ways of protecting yourself how to ground yourself how um how literally being strong calm and happy is like the best protection um because basically you can't get attacked psychically that way ground yourself ways to actually protect yourself the mirror technique pretend you have a mirror if someone is throwing you bad uh, energy, you could pretend you have a mirror in front of you that's facing them. You could put on a blue cloak of Archangel Michael for protection, different bubbles of light that you could put around you, but a couple I didn't know of, so I really appreciated that. And it's very informative. I mean, really, really informative. Like talking about learning about ascension and the rays of light and about the chakras, how we have 12 chakras, but five were closed, and now we're reopening the additional chakras. Um, it was just really informative. I mean, literally like a paperback to read on your on your own. So now let me show you the cards. And I believe, I'm not quite sure how many cards there are in here. 52 cards. Yeah, 52 cards. It's all with the Ascended Masters and Guidance. And it's really beautiful. So you could use it. At the end, I'll pick a couple of cards for, for us. But I did a reading for myself, and what you're going to want to do, which I did, was I did a reading for myself, and then I took a picture of the cards, because you are going to want to hold on to it. Um, that's what I do when I do readings for myself. I take a picture of the cards. It was so on point, personally. I almost had tears in my eyes. It felt, this. these are really extraordinary cards. That's all I could say. And I actually felt like energy moving through me when I was using these cards. I mean, it was really, really, really cool. Uh, so these are the Ascension cards, Accelerate Your Journey to the Light, Diana Cooper. So here are the cards. They're large cards, not gilded, and I love the backs of them. It's really pretty if you can see. Really, really pretty. Um, and so the front, these are going to be different because there's no images. It literally will have on top Archangel Metatron's cloak. It will give you the explanation of what that means if you pick this card. And then on the bottom, it will have an affirmation. I stand in my power and lead others forward. And it, I mean, it's really amazing. I mean, like just for an example, I won't read every card. But if you got Archangel Metatron's cloak, this came out in my personal reading. It said, it is an honor to receive this card for the cloak allows Metatron's energy to be held in your aura. It ensures that your 12 chakras are open and protects you from lower energies. This means that you can link to the seventh dimension of hollow earth and assess, access wisdom from the four ascension planets. Walk tall and stand in your power. Wearing this cloak will help you guide others on their ascension path. You are called on to do this, empower people to see who they are and what they can do. And so you're going to see it's all really amazing cards, very different, all about your ascension, the gold light of Christ, gold ray of Christ, and the affirmation is I am the gold ray of Christ, and we'll give a whole explanation of that card, Lady Nada, 
I accept and practice my healing, spiritual, and psychic gifts. And we'll go on about the Lady Nada nature. I think blessing, love, the entire nature kingdom. The moon. I listen to my divine feminine wisdom and a whole explanation. The 12 chakras. Yes, I reawaken. I awaken my 12 fifth dimensional chakras. And we'll give into it a description. Huan Yin. I act from my divine feminine wisdom. Isis, I face my challenges with common strength. Mother Mary's aquamarine mantle, I wear Mother Mary's mantle of love and enfold others in it. It's just really, these are really amazing cards and it's all for ascension. The cosmic heart, I am the cosmic heart. So Paul the Venetian, I express myself creatively, animals. St. Germain. So it's all like saints, um, ascended masters, um, Toth. My life and my health are in perfect harmony. Intergalactic Council. Archangel Metatron's Retreat. So very, they're different than the normal, um, usual, uh, usual oracle cards that you get this is all about accelerating your journey to the light opening yourself up using these cards for your ascension process the gold and silver cloak i am in total balance and harmony i love that one archangel metatron hilarion so it's very different mary magdalene earth water water i love you bless you thank you i direct you to spread Spread love around the planet. The fire dragons. So okay, at the end, I'll I'll choose a couple of cards for us and read them so you get a sample reading. And you know we're all on different levels of our ascension process, but for the most part, if you're on my channel and found my cards and my spirit messages and my closer reviews, we're pretty much on the same. You know we're all ascending together. I feel like we are all in the same place. Um, you know, no one who's on a lower frequency, they're not finding my videos. They're not going to be interested in this stuff. So, um, I was at first hesitant because this is ascension, but we're all in the same, um, we're vibrating at the same place. The Buddha, I am one with everyone and everything. Archangel retreats. Okay, so these were the cards. So 50, like I said, the 52 cards, and it's all about... It's, uh, it's really about a specific ascension energy or an ascended master. And so you could do a reading for yourself like I did over the weekend and take a picture of the cards. Or every day she was saying you could pick a card and just learn from that card. You could read, I, I would say, honestly, do what I did over the weekend. I just, it was like, you know, a little bit of time. Just read this from beginning to end because you really learn a lot. And you'll be surprised, especially if you get direct spirit messages. A lot some of the knowledge you picked up um, is in here and was almost uncanny about it um, but we're all feeling this ascension now so what a time to show these cards right so we're all feeling this ascension this clearing out this higher vibration and how we're all divinely tapping in and becoming more divine channels and it's all about grounding higher love you know that's what we're here for you're here listening to this video we're here to ground higher love so let's see what our ascension cards what is the messages for anyone who is watching this video and interested in the ascension cards who is feeling that they're really ascending at this time and what a time for these cards to be in our lives this is such a pivotal time right now so okay so what are the messages for anyone who finds this video regarding ascension what are the messages for anyone regarding ascension at this time oh wow that did a major flip wow okay oh my gosh how beautiful is this wow we got the gold ray of christ Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And water. Didn't I pause that water? That seemed really weird. Wow. Water. Water permeates everything, including the cells of your body. It carries pure divine love and special qualities that can assist in ascension. Poison in, poison on is in charge of the waters. 
Neptune is his elemental master and directs the undimes. Ask them to cleanse emotions. Yep, we've been cleared out. Ask them to cleanse emotions, emotionally based illnesses, and relationship difficulties. Your guidance is to bless water everywhere, to bring it into the fifth dimension. Ask poison and I can't pronounce this word, to link you to the music of the spheres, to access the sounds of your perfect divine blueprint and start to reinstate it. And the affirmation is water. I love you, bless you, and thank you. I direct you to spread love around the planet. Listen, we're all been cleansed out. The water within your cells, they're just affirming that you're being cleansed out at this time. It's going to help with your ascension, this divine cleanse out that we've been getting that I mention almost every time I do a reading. It's really a divine cleanse out because we're a more divine channel after we release, cleanse out our emotions, emotionally based illnesses, relationship difficulties. There's been a lot of cleanse out of that, forgiveness, letting go. And we're going to be a more divine channel with that and look at what's coming in the gold ray of Christ. Blessings pour onto you when you choose this card of unconditional love. The gold ray of Christ is held within the cosmic heart at the ninth dimension. The angels ask you to invoke the love, wisdom, healing, and protection of this beautiful energy. Yes, ask it to flow through you. You can't make this up. We're becoming a divine channel of love. Ask for it to flow through you and surround you with its golden light. When you carry this high frequency force in your aura, you can relax and know you are totally safe. Remember to send the gold ray of Christ to others. Affirmation, I am the gold ray of Christ. Listen, they're seeing we're being flushed out literally. We have water within us. It's getting flushed out, cleansed out, so we can be a divine channel of the gold ray of divine love and let it pour through you unblocked, unfiltered, your divine channel. So you let the gold ray go in, permeate through you and out. And that's what we're supposed to be. Like I said, divine power of light, divine channel, more cleansed out. We're grounding higher love here. So you bring it into yourself and pour it out into the world. And it's going to be through the things you're doing, the, the way that you speak, the way you interact with others, and what you're pouring yourself into in your projects and the things that you're doing. Yeah. And with that, we're getting a wow, wow, wow. The gold and silver violet flame. The gold and silver violet flame. Archangel Ezekiel and Saint Germain are keepers of the violet flame of transmutation. When you add the gold of wisdom and the silver of grace and harmony, you create the powerful gold and silver violet flame. So you're combining wisdom with grace and harmony with what you're doing creating this powerful gold and silver violet flame. The angels suggest you invoke this mighty energy to clear the ascension path ahead of you and keep your light pure and clear. That's why we have the help of the water being flushed out, bringing all this in. You want to keep your light pure and clear. When you send the gold and silver violet flame to people, situations, and places, you facilitate wondrous transformations. This powerful light transmutes the old and raises everything to a high, a very high frequency. Listen, we're, that's what I was saying, they're making me say, is we're getting cleansed out to be a more divine channel to ground higher love, let it go in you and out and outpour. And with that, you're sending out gold, silver, violet flame, which is, you make sure you're keeping pure and clear. Because when you're sending the gold and silver, violet flame to people, situations, and places, Basically, when you're a divine channel and you're pouring your divinity into things and sending your love and sending your clear energy and your loving energy out, it's facilitating wondrous transformations. And I know most people don't read my spirit messages that I post, but they kept saying it's really important, especially your creativity and when you're pouring it into things, what you're pouring yourself into when you're a clear divine channel you're leaving it behind for others and it's making a whole difference. Also, just holding your own space of peace, whether it's crazy or chaos or chaos, chaotic around us. Right now, just holding on to your peace makes a difference for all energy. So energy is felt and just holding your own, being the calm in the storm makes a difference and you're sending out your love to people, places and situations. You're helping with wondrous transformation. This powerful light transmutes the old and raises everything to a very high frequency. Affirmation, I am the gold and silver violet flame. So water clear, 
We're bringing in divine love. We're letting it pour out. We're sending it out to others and with what we're doing, remaining clear and pure, sending it out. And it's transmuting and transforming the energy around us. It does. We are part of that. We're a piece of that. And we're helping to transmute the old and we're raising everything to a very high frequency. Okay, I'm going to pull one more. Okay. <laughs> But this is all about like grounding higher love. This is making a difference. You, me, everyone who is watching this in the smallness of our lives or you think you're in the quiet and the unheard or unseen or unfelt, but you're not. Spirit always says you're not. You make a difference right where you are. You're meaning clear and pure and being a higher um, source of love and divine love and a divine channel and pouring it out to the world. It makes a difference. It's being reaffirmed in three cards. And here we have the last one, the sun. Wow. The sun is the navel chakra of this universe. It radiates the divine masculine principles into us. Choosing this card suggests that the universe is calling on you to develop your qualities of decisive action, protecting the vulnerable, rational thinking, courage, and strength. We're being called on, if you're watching this video, we're being called on to be this. And so they're calling on you, now's the time. They kept on saying, this is the time, this is the time, this is the time of... Um, Look, thinking courage, have courage and strength. Invoke the sun in order to light up your aura and fill you with renewed enthusiasm for life. Let it fill you up with renewed enthusiasm for life. This energy will enable you to help everyone feel welcome and empowered, which is an important ascension quality. Your guidance is to fill your aura with brilliant golden light. Be true to yourself and act decisively today. They want us to step into our power with this, to remain clear and pure as a divine channel and let it fill you up and pour it out into the things you do, what you're doing for the world. It's affecting the frequency of it all, raising it up. And they want you to step into courage and strength with that and invoke a renewed enthusiasm for your life and all that you're doing. Because what you're doing is you're welcoming and empowering others. You're welcoming and empowering yourself to step into this and then doing it for others. And it's an important ascension quality to step into your power and strength. And your guidance is to fill your aura with brilliant golden light and be true to yourself and act. Act, act, act. Step forward with enthusiasm and act. I radiate golden light and take decisive action today because we're making a difference. I love this reading. So that was a special ascension message, clearly for anybody who's watching. And that's also been coming out in almost every direct spirit message I've been getting. And this is the backs of the cards. This is the beautiful deck the, uh, guidebook, which I literally read from beginning to end. It was really, really informative. And again, it's not gonna go into description really of each card because it's right here. But it will go in, so say the Mahatma energy, she goes into depth of what that energy is. You know, she'll go into depth of what that, you know, but it's not per card. It's more by your ascension journey, the ascended masters, the rays of light, different ways you could protect yourself. I really appreciate it because you can never get enough of those. And you can find this anywhere, ascension cards accelerate your journey to the light diana cooper you can find this anywhere and again she's written a lot of things author of a new light on ascension and a couple of other books as well and um i really like these cards they're really different and when working with them it felt like there was a current running through my body at one point um you really feel the energy with them when you're tapping into them and um you'll feel that it's correlating with things that you've gotten directly as well so really, really interesting and amazing cards to work with at this particular time as well, I have to say. So this has been my close-up review of the Ascension cards. Accelerate your journey to the light. Take care. Bye-bye.